Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I'll be giving you a little bit of a beginner's guide on how to use NordVPN. Now, whether you've just gotten a Nord subscription or you wanna know how to use it or wanna see how the app functions to decide whether or not it's the right pick for you, this video will go over all the main uses and features of NordVPN and I'll show you a few examples as well. But of course, if you wanna check out NordVPN for yourself, I'll be leaving all the useful links, including a special discount that you won't get anywhere else in the description down below. So make sure to check that out. All right, so let's kick this off with the general purpose of a VPN. Basically speaking, Speaking, a VPN will encrypt your data, making it inaccessible to quite literally anyone trying to snoop in on your network, be it your internet service provider, malicious actors, or even the government as a matter of fact. It's also a must-have if you're someone who connects to public Wi-Fi a lot, for example, since quite literally anyone on that same network could actually get a hold of some of your personal information if you access any banking applications and whatnot. And so, if you're using public Wi-Fi without a VPN to encrypt your data and hide your activity, you can consider yourself accessing the internet in PVP mode, pretty much. So yeah, always use VPNs while you're on public Wi-Fi. A VPN would also route your data to a VPN server in a country of your choosing, basically giving you an IP address from that country as well as access to all local content. So let's say I want to access a website that's only available in the United States. All I need to do is hover over North America using the interactive map and click on one of the server pins over there. Once you've connected to the VPN server, give the page a quick refresh and you should be good to go. Now, if you want to be extra sure that you're indeed connecting to a specific country, you can simply go to what is my IP.com and it'll display your new IP address. All right, now when it comes to streaming, NordVPN is actually one of the very few VPNs that will give you access to streaming services since all of their servers are optimized for streaming as well as torrenting, which we'll talk about in a sec. But let's say you wanted to watch a show that's only available in the Italian Netflix library, for example. All you need to do is connect to a VPN server in Italy, give Netflix a quick refresh, and it should display all the shows from the Italian library. Very simple, very straightforward. Oh, and by the way, this is not exclusive to Netflix since Nord would give give you access to pretty much any streaming platform such as Hulu, HBO Max, BBC iPlayer, and much more. There's also a couple of reasons why Nord is so great for streaming. For starters, it is the fastest VPN out there as it has around 10 to 25% speed drops and sometimes even goes below 10% if you're using its fastest performing protocol, Nordlinks. And if you didn't know, it's completely natural for a VPN to drop your speed due to the time it takes to encrypt your data. However, how much the speed drops is what distinguishes good VPNs from bad ones. Generally speaking, anything up to 25% is considered fantastic, and even up to 40% is still considered good. And so, assuming your internet allows you to stream 4K content, you can still do that even while you're connected to a VPN server. And another thing that makes NordVPN fantastic for streaming is that it has over 6,000 servers in 61 countries, so you'll have access to plenty of content around the world. All right, so as far as torrenting goes, NordVPN completely allows torrenting, as they don't have any data limitations or any restrictions whatsoever. In fact, they even support torrenting, as they have P2P specialty servers specifically designed for that. Now you can torrent safely on quite literally any of their servers, and they all support torrenting. It's just that the P2P servers are there for a little bit of extra security. Now, why would you need a VPN for torrenting in the first place? Well, for a couple of reasons. For starters, anyone on the P2P network can see your residence as well as your IP address when you're torrenting, but using a VPN would mask your IP and display you as if you're in a different country. And another reason would be in case your ISP is not cool with you torrenting, and they'd pretty much do anything to stop you from doing that, like throttling your connection, for example. A VPN, however, would mask and encrypt all your activity so that your ISP does not know what you're actually doing online. So yeah, it's very good for torrenting. All right, now let's talk a little bit about the different features and options NordVPN has to offer. Now, I talked earlier about one of NordVPN's specialty servers, which are P2P servers, but Nord offers even more types of specialty servers. For example, you have double VPN servers that route your traffic through two VPN servers instead of one for double encryption. You've got dedicated IP servers that retain the same address and you can always reconnect to them. And these are quite helpful if you want to avoid capture requests and even prevent any issues with your bank resulting from any IP address conflicts. You also have Onion over VPN, which is a feature that combines the benefit of using the Onion router with VPN tunneling. This would basically result in an increased level of privacy, which is essential for those living or passing through countries with heavy censorship. And lastly, Nord would also allow you to purchase your own dedicated IP as an add-on to your subscription. All right, now as far as features go, Nord is pretty jam-packed with them. For starters, you'll get a kill switch that will sever your internet connection immediately should you accidentally disconnect from the VPN server for whatever reason. This feature is a must-have, especially if you live in censorship-heavy countries, as it prevents any data leaks from happening whatsoever. Nord even takes it a step further, as they also offer an app kill switch, which would terminate the app instead of disconnecting you entirely from the internet, which is very nice. You also have a feature called Split tunneling, which would allow you to choose which servers pass through the VPN tunnel and which ones do not. For example, I personally use this on my torrenting app while gaming so that my video games use my normal connection while the torrenting software goes through the VPN tunnel. Another feature worth mentioning is the threat protection, which blocks ads and trackers 
and protects your device from harmful files, acting like a little bit of a mini antivirus. You also have the dark web monitor, which will keep an eye out for any leaked personal data. Besides that, you also get the mesh net feature, which allows you to share files or get remote access over the encrypted network of NordVPN with people of your choosing. One of the other benefits of MeshNet is that you can use your smartphone while on holiday and still appear online as if you're browsing with your home computer. Not to mention, Nord has been constantly updating and improving this feature while also making it free to use for everyone without needing a Nord subscription, which is really cool of them. So yeah, a lot of useful features. All right, so would I recommend NordVPN for you? Definitely. You'll be getting arguably the fastest VPN on the market that works phenomenally no matter what you're using it for, be it streaming, gaming, or torrenting. Also, its collection of features gives it a lot of value given its budget-friendly price, so you'll definitely be getting a lot of bang for your buck with NordVPN. So that's it for this guide to NordVPN. Now you know pretty much everything you need to get started with the app, and if you want to take a little bit of a dive into all the little things about Nord, I'll be leaving an in-depth review in the description down below, so make sure to check it out. And that'll be all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the links in the description to grab yourself the best discount possible. Like and subscribe to see more of these videos, and let me know in the comments if there's anything cybersecurity you'd like me to cover. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.